A number of years ago when I was a jail chaplain in Placer County, uh, an inmate came to me. He had, at one point, in a moment of despair, asked the devil to come and give him power. That doesn't seem to me like a very good idea, but he did. He was someone who was kind of built like the front of a refrigerator, hugely strong, kind of a almost intimidating individual because of his muscles and his size, but he was tormented. He was tormented with dreams and nightmares and fears that his physical strength couldn't help him with. When I think of him, I think of the verse in Luke chapter 11, verse 14, where it says, Jesus was casting out a demon, an evil spirit, and it was dumb, as the evil spirit was preventing the man from speaking. And I think about the ways in which people might be tormented by evil spirits, perhaps because of bad decisions they've made, or perhaps not even realizing it. And I'm reminded of two concrete verses in the New Testament. One is in Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 27 where it says, Do not give the devil an opportunity. That's in a verse right after a verse by about anger. Be angry, do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your anger. Anger gives the devil an opportunity in your life and in the lives of those around you. The second verse I think of is in 1 Peter chapter 5 and verse 9. It said there that the devil is like a roaring lion, prowling about seeking someone to devour. But then it says this, resist him. Resist him by being strong in the word, as it says in 1 Peter chapter 2, and longing for the pure milk of the word. Jesus was bringing the kingdom of God, which was dethroning the power of the devil. Our job, not to give the devil opportunities to reestablish strongholds, positions, and places in our lives. The kingdom of God defeats the kingdom of evil. As we follow the Lord with humility, with patience, with gentleness, and love, we can always experience the rule of God and need not fear the power of the evil one. Resist him, firm in your faith. Do not let the sun go down on your anger and do not give the devil an opportunity. This is your daily devotional for Thursday. I hope you're doing well. hope you're starting to get your scriptures ready for your great hour of prayer you'll have on Saturday. And what a wonderful time to have fellowship with the Lord. How wonderful it is to be part of this church and people who love God and to have the great companionship we have on our journey with Christ. God bless you as you serve him. Pray for the church. Pray for me and seek first the kingdom of God. God bless you today.